Just wanted to talk about some of the new features in Field Artist 3. The main thing is the true view. So you remember the old 3D view, it's kind of a flat view. Um, the characters are flat, they don't really have any dimension. Um, they don't have a true front and back, they're always facing you. Um, in true view, this is what the true view looks like. You just click on the cube here to go into true view. And you see more of a realistic view. You have a sky, it's called a sky box. You have, have a stadium and a grassy looking field. and You have these uh, very nice animations. By the way, all, all the animations are smoother now. Um, even in the regular view, all the animations are smoother. That's another change that we made. And you have this, these very nice flag animations now. If you want to zoom in, hold the shift key down and move your uh, mouse cursor with the mouse button down. Drag it with the shift key down to zoom in like that. You see the characters have these very nice flag animations. You can customize, by the way, customize all the uniforms and you can customize all the flags and uh, you can model the different instruments. You can choose the different instruments that are actually modeled in 3D. The characters have dimensionality to them. They move their feet. They have arm positions and uh, it's, it's all very nice. You see they raise their arms and they toss the flags. Again hold the shift key down and just drag your mouse uh, to zoom out. If you want to, without the shift key down, if you drag your mouse it turns it from side to side. Raise the mouse up. Drag it higher to go higher. Drag it lower to take a lower view. That's uh, what that is. Another thing all the animations are easy. Oh, by the way, options language. You can go to language English. Everything is in English. You go to language Chinese. All, now all the menu choices are in Chinese. And all the dialogues, they're all in Chinese too. Everything's in Chinese. All the messages will come up in Chinese. Everything's in Chinese. If you go back to English, everything's back in English again. Another thing that we changed, if you want to do animations, say, that's a lot easier now. You could always do flag animations, but it was kind of difficult. And what we have now is we've made an easier way to do that. Let's just put a little flag animation right here and show you how easy that is. If you just select these people, just hit the a, excuse me, hit the A key, and you can choose an animation from here. We're going to choose a toss and spin. Some of these animations apply to people carrying instruments. Which way you want to march. If you want to march backwards, you can do a mark time. There's a lot you can do. But a toss spin, we'll just do here for, let's say, six counts. And let's just make it three feet, uh, three feet high. Three feet high. And let's just make it two revolutions. And then if you hit OK, you'll see that they have that animation. So it was really quick to do that. Just see it playing here. And there it is. That's the, the little animation that we just added. Works in there. You can do all sorts of animations that you already see in the show. And by the way, also works in the true view as well. You'll see it from the back here. That's what it looks like from the back. You turn it around. Here's what it looks like from the front. Here's the one that we just added. And you can go in and customize all these uniforms too. And Another thing I want to mention that's new in this is the free forms. And this is really important for writing shows because we've always had forms. The way forms always worked is that you would stretch the form and the people stay on the form. So, uh, in other words, um, the, the shape of the form determined the shape of the people. Now, free forms are just the opposite. And this whole show, by the way, is all done using free forms. So you don't have any different shaped forms here. You just have the free forms. It's just a little simpler. That's what they look like. You can still scale these up and down. You see this still? Let me turn the pathways off so you can see better. This, this whole form still scales. You can still scale this. But you can move the people individually. And by the way, on a free form, you notice this is not the person pointer. This is the form pointer. But I can move these people uh, because it's a free form only. Um, the other thing about these is that when you move the people, you notice that they don't snap back onto the form. The form snaps to the people. So it's a little different. Obviously, this is great for scatter drills. You can tell right away that if you want to place people individually, this is exactly the thing you need. You have to select a person, as always, to move them 
you select a group of people you can move that group the form sticks notice the form sticks to the people this line the shape of this line doesn't matter it's the shape of the people that matters the line will just take a path whatever path it decides to take to join all the people that are on that form we happen to have two different free forms here we have one here another thing that goes with the free forms is there's all these keystrokes now you didn't have this before if you select these if I hit it O it puts them in a circle you can hit the less than um, to make it smaller hit greater than to make it bigger you can hit the arrow keys um, shift arrows goes I believe a step in the pixel is uh, the arrow key without a without any um, uh, just the regular arrow key is, is a pixel you can scale it up and down in a different direction you can um, hit a B to make it into a block you can take this whole thing and if you want to um, take these people hit a L and it makes it into a line so you have a lot of these different things for for lining up your people and it's a really quick and easy way to create different shapes and patterns instead of having to choose um, the shape of the form and the way you would make these is and by the way you can do transitions on these the same as any other all of these are free forms everything in the shows are free form and the way you'd make these um, the easiest way is to start if you're starting with your cast start with some shape add your cast as you normally would and then you go into your properties right click on the form and you see you have a new choice here free form and just choose free form and now you have a free form now it behaves as a free form so now you can move your people all around like this choose the people move them around like this now we've made this kind of tripartite shape but it still is one form we can still select this whole thing move it as a unit scale it up or down as a unit still shows in 3d oh one thing I want to show you about people this is obviously changing now if you select your people you hit the enter key by the way to get properties that's new we have some new keystrokes that weren't there before there's some new properties for people now um, now you have a uniform you notice those people didn't have a uniform because they didn't set one for them um, uniforms you always had before would have a uniform and an instrument now you have a uniform and an instrument separately and this is very important because it makes it possible to do your animations in the 2D the, the, what I mean the 3D the old-fashioned 3D the what I call now the draft 3D this is called the draft 3D mode now and we still have the draft the old draft 3D mode that you had before with the plain sort of flat looking uniforms the uniform and the and the instruments are separate that's new that makes the animations possible that they can be automated um, the other thing about that is when you select people you have different uniforms to select for the draft 3D and the true view. This is the true view. It's a different view. The uniforms are three true three-dimensional uniforms. So you have to go, as you can see, into a different mode and choose the uniforms and choose the instruments separately. So if we wanted to select these people, we can select again um, their properties they have a uniform but they don't have any true view equipment so we'd have to go down and oh let's make them all we have a lot of instruments to choose from here let's make them a timpani players just because that's easy to see so now you have on your field a whole bunch of timpani players and just as you could always change instruments change um, equipment in a show as an as an animation or a cast change you can change equipment change um, Truvio equipment as well in the middle of a show that's just a brief overview of all the features I'll make some more videos to go into more detail about all of these features later on